You know, we were touring this plant and it was great to see them putting together all these components. They have nearly a hundred people that work here in this new startup business. You know, solar power is really here to stay. It's already came down dramatically in cost and it's going to come down even more with our technology as we continue to uh, make product improvements. Uh, so given that fact and given the fact that it's a very useful um, way to, to, to produce distributed power, you know, it's going to really see, I think, you know, very, very rapid adoption. It's also all the suppliers that are involved. I think we counted we have 40, more than 40 suppliers in the, uh, uh, in the Minnesota area for individual components that we use in our solar products. Definitely has a very strong waterfall effect for, uh, for creating jobs. We actually send billions of dollars out of state every year to buy energy that, for, that we don't produce here in the state. We can produce many more jobs for the same amount of dollars into the energy economy than we can buying out of state. The public, when it comes to a candidate, really wants to see somebody who's going to promote solar and wind by like three to one over people who want to do more gas, coal, and oil in the United States. We were really impressing upon the people running for office that, you know, if you start talking about going backwards, back to the coal and the natural gas even and, the, and oil, you really are losing the public.